What's up guys, this is Fern here with another After Effects tutorial um, on blood effects. So, I got a comment on my Jaws animation saying, um, oh, can you show us how to do like blood, that, that, like, that blood. In, I think it was this scene that he was talking about, because um, obviously the guy gets eaten and then the blood comes out of the mouth and then sort of fades, sort of that way. So it comes out of his mouth and then it sort of the blood gets dragged behind the shark. So it comes out from right to left, and then once it's out of the mouth, it sort of glides slowly to the right, as you can see here. That's the effect that I tried to make, and I'm just going to sort of run through on how I done that. So if I go into the comp that I made. As you can see, there are seven layers. Um, one of those is the scene itself, um, and the other ones are the blood. Now, I created the blood using particle streams and fireball wides. And the reason for that, I didn't use any. Um, actually, sorry, before I actually say anything, I got uh, these are from the Action Essentials pack. Action Essentials. Um, I didn't use the blood. I didn't use any of the blood um, because it didn't look realistic. So what I've done is I created the blood myself using other other things. So the particle streams I think was the um, what ones was the particle streams? Yeah, the particle streams are I uh, used to sort of make the blood flow from left to right, and the fireballs is what I used to make the blood go from right to left. So the fireball wides, these two are the blood coming out of the mouth and these four are the blood sort of drifting away from the shark. Um, so if I turn off these first and I turn off the scene and I create a new solid white you should actually be able to see the blood. If I drag that to the bottom just make that, no maybe not uh, Ooh, this is going to be a tricky one. How do I get this? Okay, let's just turn the opacity. Oh no, the opacity is. Well, let's go to this one first. Yeah, maybe you'll be able to see it. Um, if I just pre-render that now, and you can see what I've done with the blood. That is so. As you can see, it comes from right to left, and it comes sort of out. And it's not just the one; it's several. So the first. Oops. Yeah, first fireball, which starts here now. That one comes out first, as you can see. That's one sort of bit of blood. And then once that's fading off, I thought look, I've missed sort of messed that up with the mask. Don't know why I've done that. Oh no, I think that's because there's a guy the guy's leg there. Yeah. So we'll get that we'll get round to that. So there's the guy's leg. So that's coming through, and then as we can see here, the second wave. Is coming through, and they're both different. Oh, no, they're not different actually. I think one's just made bigger than the other. Like I've imported both of them in, and I've sized one down just to make it look a bit different. So that's what I've done there. So if I bring the scene back in, and I start for this one, and turn off the masks, I've positioned it. I don't think I've got a motion track. No, I haven't. All I've done is I hit the P tab. Well, I put it into place, obviously. So I put it into place. Um, I've hit the pos position, which is P, and then I set the keyframe down where it is now, and I just scroll along and I just follow the blood along so it follows with the mouth. Otherwise, it'll be sort of left behind and it won't look right. Now I didn't motion track it because it's only something so little, and it looked alright without the motion track. I got away with it, so <laughs> I didn't bother wasting any much, any more time. Um, so if I turn this off again, you can see that's what I've used. And if you want to know what one I used, that was Fireball Wide 8. That's the one I used for sort of that. It looks like an explosion, if you would. I think it is actually in the explosion folder, Fireball, yeah. But what I've done is I've um, gone into the effects. So I've added some color adjustments to it to make it more blood and not fire looking. Um, so I don't know. I can't really teach you how to do that because it's really confusing me. But this is any sort of like a breakdown video of what I've sort of done, how I done the blood. I can't. If I go into detail about how I done the colours, it gets really confusing because I don't know how to explain it.
So, so I'm just going to run through and then hopefully I might be able to one day figure out how to explain it and then I can shove a video on that up. So once I've got these blood sort of objects in place and they're all good with the scene, I then added masks around them because if I if I turn it off actually, turn it on and I come to the first one here which is this one, you can see that I've masked this bit and this bit. Now the bit on the right is the shark obviously this is will, this will be the mouth, if I turn that on you'll see it's around sort of the shark's mouth because you don't want it coming like over the jaws and like near the eyes and on the chin I think it's the chin but you know you want it to be like kept in the mouth until the blood starts drifting backwards but we've got something we've got these particle streams for that um, so we don't need to worry about anything else apart from the mouth on these fireballs so both of those are gotten um, and then I've obviously masked out the um, the leg now once you've done the mask if you click on the mask and you hit mask path hit a keyframe down as you can see I've gone through the animation as well just following the mask along with the leg and I've obviously um, feathered it out a bit to about 30 pixels so it sort of blends in so then that way the blood doesn't go over the oops, over the leg but it's sort of relatively there now as you can see here if I zoom in this bit is the feather so if I bring the feather down to naught and 30. Oh, I've done it wrong. I've got the wrong, wrong, wrong mask. I think mask two is the leg, if I'm correct. Yep, mask two. So if I go to mask feather, oops, that's 40 pixels. If I bring that down to naught, you can see the sharp edges here. But the fact that I just have it to 40 pixels, it just blends it in more. And you know you don't have to worry much about getting the exact points aligned up with the um, with the leg. So it helps you out a bit. You can get it down a bit quicker in that. So once we got all that sorted and we keyframed the mask and position of our blood, and we think that looks right, we change the color of it. That bit looks right, but now we need the last few bits. So if I turn these fireballs off and I turn on the particles, and turn that off just so you can see, if you can see start here. Now as you can see I put four particles and they're all the same, particle stream three and again I have added the colour correction to it in order to make it look like blood and not fire. Now as you can see the blood sort of I don't know how to explain this. The blood is moving from left to right but what I'm also doing I am moving the um, oops, uh, let me zoom it out. The actual position itself is being moved as well as you can see here position of uh, so if I say I come to the first point that's where the blood starts but you want to keep this in the relatively same position so where this little point is here you want that sort of aligned up with that tooth so then once I move forward towards like the end of the animation you would sort of relative well that one's nowhere near but, um, but I moved it here probably just for the animation the way it looks uh, you want to keep it so it follows the shark as well. So it's all good having the. Hang on, let me just show you. If I take that position off, all right. Now I see. Okay, I just had. Sorry, I just had to look through that. This is the one we're on about. Uh, this is the first one. It's this one. Now this one goes all the way out over here. And I think it just it get, when you sort of pre-render and you look at it, it just shoots off away. But you want sort of the blood to be coming out slowly because it's in water and blood doesn't travel fast through water you know it will it'll drift slowly and you know blend through and then dissolve if, if you would um, so you need to keep it a very slow movement I think that is why I've kept the keyframe here so as you can see it starts off at this point and then it's moving as you can see this little point here is moving down the line to about here and that way it keeps it in the relatively same position but keeps it slow movement as well it doesn't shoot off it keeps it sort of close to the shark as possible and I've done that the same with the particle stream or the rest of the particle stream should I say um, but they're just offset one start there I don't I think I've done it for each bite 
One, two. Well, I think I've done two for one byte then. Yeah, that's one byte. And then two. Just to sort of get a bit, you know, one's not going to be enough, is it? You need to add a few in. So that's how I made that effect. I didn't just, there isn't one solid blood effect that you can just add in for that. You have to sort of create it yourself. But the bloods in the actual Action Essentials folder wasn't really working for me, so I had to try and look for something else. So I looked at the particle streams because I thought, mm, particles, you know, something dusty looking, slow, you know, I didn't know how to explain that actually. But I don't know, you could sort of find something and edit it the way you want. It's just finding the correct one. And I think I was just kind of lucky for finding those actually. Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done about the blood. But yeah, that, that is exactly what I've done, guys. Um, I do hope this has kind of helped um, for certain situations. You know, if you can't find any blood in the Action Essentials pack, oops, sorry, um, not that one, blood. If you can't find any, these are all blood bursts now. I thought that would be more like getting shot or something. It's quick, you know. I thought that's not going to be looking realistic underwater. And there's blood splatters and all that. I couldn't find anything, so I thought, okay, so I just looked through. I looked through, like, dirt charges and that, and I thought, nah, there's too too much blood there if I change the colour. So then I was just looking down at particle hits. No, not, no, sorry, particle, where was I looking at? I can't remember now. I think it was, uh, I can't remember where I got it from now. Dust elements, I think, and it was, here we go, particle stream. That's basically just dust falling from the, the ceiling or something. But I've just rotated it 90 degrees. So it's sort of flowing right. Made the size, changed the colour, and it looked all right actually. So, you know, just having a bit of play around with it. But that's how the well, the message I'm trying to get to you is: you could, you probably won't be able to find one thing exactly the way you want it. You have to go out and find little bits and put it together, edit it, rotate it, position it, colour correct it, keyframe it, key, keyframe the position, maybe keyframe the colour depending. You know to make it look the way you want it to and it is quite tricky it you know I had a lot of trouble getting this right but I thought okay that looks good enough and then I left it at that um, and it does get annoying though, <laughs> if I'm honest it does get annoying because when it doesn't go the way you want it you get fucked off and then you're just like oh fuck it can't be us and you just lose motivation so but you know all I say is keep trying you never know um, it, in time it will come to you you know there's been many times where I've thinking oh I don't know how to do that Several months later, I thought, hang on, I've seen this particle stream. That might be able to be used. So then I've tried it with that, and it's worked. It's like, so it's all about experience. You know? as, as you use more things, it goes into your head more. It keeps, stays up then. Somewhere in your mind, it'll stay there. And then you just remember it one day, and you think, oh, shit, yeah. And then you'll be able to do it. So I um, hope this helped, guys. That's sort of the way that I would do things. Um, so please like and comment, and I'll see you in the next video when it's out. Peace.